Howdy ho there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today I'm standing in the bathroom and the reason I'm in the bathroom is because I'm getting ready to replace some of the plumbing in the bathroom, okay? So stay tuned and we'll show you how to get this done. Now friends, as you can see here, I have an absolute mess here in my bathroom uh, here in the hallway. Uh, this all started off from a clogged up um, sink uh, actually, uh, over years and years and years of toothpaste and hair and everything else that went down this, uh, drain pipe, this thing, it has been a slow drain for quite some time. Well, I tried to pour some Drano and stuff like that in there. I think I ended up making it worse. I took my, um, um, my P-trap apart. It had sludge and everything in it. And then I think going into the wall, it has some sludge. My faucet ended up having a slow drip. So you know what? I decided to just replace all this mess. So I've already disassembled everything. So we've taken our old faucet out. Uh, our little downspout thing here actually broke when we tried to uh, take our P-trap off. You know, it, as we started messing with it, it started breaking. So I said, you know the heck with it, we're gonna go and replace everything. And then down below, <clears throat> let's see if I can show you. If I can get the light on here, uh, our inch and a quarter um nipple that's sticking out of the wall there there's actually some sludge build up i could look down in that pipe before so what i ended up doing is uh, i had this old uh, plumber snake here and we ended up uh, fishing it down through the pipe we got everything uh cleaned out ready to go so we're going to start uh <clears throat> installing all our new parts so let's go take a look at those right quick Okay, friends, in here on the kitchen table, we've got everything laid out. As you can see, we have a brand new faucet here, okay? And this faucet actually come with the, um, uh, the drain part of it, you know? Um, I didn't realize that when I purchased, purchased it, because I actually bought another one, so that's something that we can take back. Um, when I was at the store, I actually got two extra uh, supply lines here, different lengths, because I wasn't sure exactly what length I needed. So two of these I know I'll be able to take back to the store. We got a receipt over here so we can take everything back that we don't need. And um, over here we have a new P-trap. As you can see, here's all the pieces that we need in there. And the way this is assembled, um, as you can see this first piece right here, this will attach to the bottom of this piece here, okay? And then you'll run these little fittings here together and this piece here will actually go into the into the wall into that nipple that i was telling you about a while ago and we should have everything should be good i did buy like a little extender in case i needed to uh it wasn't long enough we end up we may end up taking this back as well if we don't need it and uh some things that you will need of course you'll need an assortment of different tools and i'll show you those here in a little bit um uh, I got some pipe dope here to go onto the uh, threaded nipple back there at the back. Plumber's putty you will need for setting your new uh, drain into the bottom of the sink. And I will show you that as we start assembling everything. So now, folks, there's all our parts. Um, I will show you some of the tools that you will need as we put this thing together. And um, also, we will... Uh, go back there now and start we'll get rid of all that old stuff that I just showed you and we'll actually start cleaning up the sink really good We want everything nice and clean before we start assembling all our new parts So here we go Okay, folks some of the tools that I have used so far in disassembling everything uh, Actually a pair of needle nose pliers a couple different um, channel lock pliers. I'm sorry adjustable wrenches um, a couple uh, different sized uh, channel lock pliers and some sockets. And actually what I use these sockets for, I just was for pulling the uh, plastic nut off the bottom of the faucet. I just brought a couple from the shop and I found one that fit and just backed it right on off. So that's basically all the tools that we've used so far. And of course we've used our snake. Uh, if you have an actual clog problem, that's a handy little tool to have. They're very inexpensive. I mean, you can pick them up at a home improvement store pretty cheap. I've had this one for probably 10 or 15 years. And so now we are going to just go ahead and take 
everything except these lines because I told you I wanted to match these up with my new ones. I'm going to hold those to, a, to the side right now. Everything else is going right on into the trash can, okay? We're going to get rid of this junk. We do not need any of this anymore. So let's go ahead and just get rid of everything. And then we will start cleaning up this uh, sink. And what we want to do, we want to scrape all this old plumber's putty out of the center here. Get that nice and clean right up top here. Uh, looks like they might have put a little plumber's putty up here at one time. There's some mold and mildew there. We want to get rid of all that stuff and uh, take some Clorox cleanup, probably this right here. And we will clean up this sink real nice before we start assembling our, our new parts. Okay, folks, hey, we're uh, back in here in the kitchen with all our new parts here. We've already got our sink area cleaned up nicely back there with some Windex and some uh, Clorox cleanup. But I just want to show you how these parts assemble here on the table. It might be a little bit easier for you to understand. First of all, we have our new faucet, okay? And uh, we're going to take a little bit of the uh, plumber's putty here and roll it out into a bead. And we'll actually try to get it in the shape going all the way around. And when that's squeezed down, we'll squeeze out all the excess. And that'll help keep moisture and water from getting underneath there and causing mildew and stuff like that. And once you get it set down in place and you squeeze out your plumber's buddy, go ahead and put your nuts on here. Okay. And uh, let's see if I can do this. And we'll uh, the little plastic nuts here and you will just tighten them down. You know, both of them will be installed on here and you'll tighten them down until you get it seated nicely and your putty is squeezed out and you can just kind of rub off all the excess, okay? And then you'll actually take your uh, um, lines that you're going to use to uh, reconnect. Actually, I purchased the wrong ones. Uh, I actually got one for a toilet here. I wasn't paying attention. And you'll actually just thread, thread both of them on, you know, to each one. They'll thread right up here. So that's a real easy connection there. And then on this end, it's a 3 8 so it goes right into where your water comes out of your uh, wall for, at your shutoff valve. And that'll, that'll be the connections that you will make right there. That's pretty simple. Now, uh, the more complicated I feel like part of it, and let's just try to explain this real quick. You'll be putting in your sink drain here, okay? And you'll notice that there's a nut, a little plastic nut here. Go ahead and thread that on down, okay? About as far as you can get it. Squeeze your uh, uh, rubber gasket, bring it on down a little bit on here, okay? And then, uh, let's see here, okay. Now this is gonna shove up from the bottom of the sink, okay? Now at the top, you're gonna have this piece here, okay? But notice that there's nothing really to seal at the top of the sink. That's when you're gonna make a nice, fat, worm-shaped piece of uh, plumber's putty and you're going to put that around the base of the sink before you install this piece and when you tighten all this down it will squeeze out that plumber's putty okay and you'll have a nice seal on this side here okay and you'll tighten this nut here all the way up until you get everything nice and tight and you see this here goes on a few threads as well and then you'll tighten up from the bottom until you get it all squeezed out and you'll take off your excess. Now this here needs to be turned toward the back of the cabinet, okay? And this is the part that sometimes is a little bit tricky. If you will look at this uh, little plunger here, it's got a hole in it this way, and this way it's kind of offset. Now, let me explain what, why it's like that, okay? Uh, let me find the piece I'm looking for. All right, <clears throat> this is our little rod. It has a little plastic ball on it. There's a nylon seal right there, and you see that it shoves in here. This is the part that pops the little plunger up and down, okay? Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can turn it where this hole is straight down, okay? And then stick your plunger in here to where it pops up and down. It'll pop it up, it'll pull it down, okay? Now, the only bad thing about it being that way, you won't ever be able to remove it Hold on, let's see if I can hold this. Hang on, I don't have it turned right. All right, let's see here. Shove it down until you can see it. Put the rod in there. All right, now notice. <laughs> hold on, I got it turned the wrong way, I think. 
You got to turn it, you got to turn the, the hole where it's this way right here, okay? And when you stick it in there, it should be in the hole. And then you can, uh, so you can't pull it out, okay? I don't really like them like that. I like to be able to pull them out if I need to, you know, to clean all the gunk off of them and stuff. So when I uh, do them, I actually turn it sideways, okay? Like this right here, going down into the hole. You can turn it that way when you go to install this piece. And then it'll always pop it up. You can always pull it down and you can, you know, where it'll seal and it'll seal fine. But if you do want to pull it out to clean it, you can, okay? So that's the way I prefer to have these things set up. Now remember, there's a nylon washer on this side. Make sure it don't fall out when you take your stuff out of the box. And on this side, and this is a little spring, we're gonna pull it off temporarily. And we're gonna put this little piece in place, okay? And this, and it has a nylon washer on the inside of it as well. And we will go ahead and uh, tighten this down to where it will seal. And I believe that's good enough right there, okay? Don't need to overdo it. Just enough to where it can see how it can move and it can hold up and everything like that right there. Don't, don't overdo it. So see, we can still get our piece out and we can still put it back in, okay? Just like so. All right, now, now from the bottom of your fixture, this is gonna set up here something like so. I don't know if all this is sitting here for me. But this rod will go down through here, okay? And then you will be, this piece here will actually shove onto the rod and you can make an adjustment when you get it set like you want it, you can tighten up this little nut here, okay? And this piece goes into one of these holes, which whichever one is gonna line up for you, okay? So when you pull up and down on the rod, it's gonna be moving back and forth. And of course the little spring clip is to uh, install on there to keep it from sliding too far one way or another. So that's how that little mechanism works. Sometimes that's the trickiest part about installing a new faucet. So hopefully my little demonstration here was helpful. Okay folks, while we're here at the table, let's go ahead and talk about our uh, drain here. We bought this little P-trap kit and I've taken it out of the bag and there's all the pieces. Now, if you look at the uh, little picture here, this is how all this goes together. This uh, tail piece is the piece here that we've been talking about. And let's just see if we can go ahead and kind of hook things up. As you notice, one of these pieces will slide right up here. There is a tapered washer that you will slide right up here as well. And then you will take um, this side of your P-trap and notice you have some room for adjustment here, okay? In case you gotta move up or down or anything like that. So that gives you uh, one avenue of adjustment right there. And you will tighten this down. Uh, don't tighten it down solid yet until you get everything in there and get it put together. Now your other piece here, this piece right here, you'll notice that you'll take a nut and you'll slide it on here. And it's already got a tapered bevel there, no washer required and it's got a tapered uh, area right there. So you basically just screw that up just like so. <clears throat> and then, now going into the wall, uh, depending on what you have, and we've already inspected ours, we've got a piece of black iron pipe, black iron pipe nipple coming out and the size inch and a quarter. So we just bought an additional little uh, nut here and a washer and we should be able to slide this on here with our washer. And what we will be doing is sliding this straight into the piece of pipe nipple, ever how far it goes, and tightening down that right onto the pipe nipple. Now, just in case we uh, needed extra length, which I don't think we do, I went ahead and bought a piece. This is just a little extender, you know? And if we needed to um, cut this piece and get another, hold on, let me slide this washer up a little bit. Like if we needed to extend this or what have you, um, you know, we got a piece here to do that with. And I would just use probably some uh, PVC cement uh, once I got it cut like I needed and uh, just slide that on there. And that would actually bring the nut and everything out here if you had to go that far. I don't think we're gonna need, I bought it just in case. 
So folks, as you can see, this is how you put all this stuff together. I hope this was uh, a good explanation. We're going to run back up to the store and switch out our uh, hoses here that we bought the incorrect ones. And then we're going to get everything assembled. We'll take a couple little video clips while we're doing it. And hopefully we'll have the sink working uh, later on today. Okay, folks. Hey, here's our plumber's putty, okay? We've already pulled out a glob of it here. We're kind of warming it up in our hands here. Getting it nice and pliable. And we're going to go ahead. We're actually going to get, get ready to go back there and start installing some of this stuff. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what you do you just take it once you get it warmed up just kind of roll it out into a little worm shape you know and uh that's about all you do and what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and just lay a bead across this piece here and this will actually be all we need to do for our sink fixture part and it'll just squeeze out any unneeded uh plumber's putty Okay, so we got that piece ready. Now let's head on back to the um, bathroom and we'll install this uh, lower piece here and we'll go ahead and install the faucet. Okay, as you can see, friends, we've already taken us uh, some plumber's putty, warmed it up. We laid it down here on the surface around our sink fixture. So let's go ahead and just sit that in place, okay? And we'll go ahead and just kind of squeeze down a little bit. And then we're going to go underneath. and see how it's squeezing out all the excess that we don't necessarily need. So we're going to go down below with the little black nuts and we're going to go and screw them on by hand and tighten that fixture down. Okay. Now with it all tightened down, we can just go around here and simply knock off all the excess plumber's putty that we do not need. And then it's time to go ahead and install this sink drain that we've already loaded up with the plumber's putty. So I'm going to reach down <clears throat> underneath here with one hand and now I'm going to try to hold this thing in such a fashion to where this is like going straight back toward the cabinet. Okay. So I won't have to move it too much. I don't know if you can actually get down here and see this or not. I don't know if you can see where I'm at. Well, you actually bring the camera back up here. I've got it through the hole. Okay. As you can see, and we're just going to simply go ahead and thread this on by hand until it seats and it feels like it's seated right there. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and kind of pull a lot of this excess out of here and you can see it's already kind of squeezing out. And now from underneath, I will tighten that, uh, that nut back up. Okay. Okay. Friends, I know it's kind of hard to see. I'm kind of underneath here trying to film and hold a flashlight. But this nut here, and you see the washer, we want to tighten this all the way down until this seats up against the bottom of the sink. So we will continue doing that, and then we will get the little links and levers hooked up for the stopper. Okay, now with the, uh, the sink bottom part here uh, tightened down in place, as you can see, you can just take your finger and you can remove all of your excess plumber's putty, just like so. And we got a good seal there. It'll stay pliable and provide a good, good seal for water. Okay, now we've already adjusted our little plunger here thing, and uh, we've got it working like we want it. Okay, so let's go underneath. We'll take a quick look at uh, the links and levers and how I hook them up. And as I was telling you, that's why I showed you out by the kitchen table. Sometimes it can be a, a tricky little part of this. If I can get the light held here to where you can actually see what I've done. I don't know if I really can. It's kind of hard to see here. Okay. You can kind of see the link and lever, the where the clip kind of holds the green plastic piece on the rod and we are in the open position. And of course you have your uh, adjusting nut up high and uh, it's really not that difficult. It just takes a few minutes to kind of play around with uh, your adjustment there till you get it to where, you know, when you push down on it, it uh, opens it. And when you pull up on it, it makes it stop. Real simple. Okay. Now friends, we're going to go ahead and hook up our 
Uh, pressure lines, our steel braided pressure lines that we uh, purchased, we'll actually hook them up right here on our cold water, hot water, and uh, hook them up to the sink like I showed you earlier. And then we will have water and we will go ahead and hook up the uh, plumbing as well. Hopefully we'll be done here shortly. Okay, folks, hey, we got everything hooked up here. We got our uh, water lines hooked up, tightened down. We just used the two uh, adjustable wrenches that I showed you earlier. We went ahead and cut our water back on and we checked for leaks on the pressure side and everything was good. Uh, hooked up our P-trap and it went on real simple. We didn't have to make any modifications or anything, so that was great. Got everything tightened down. Uh, we went ahead and filled up the sink and uh, shut it off and let it hold it for a minute. And we did have a little bit of leak right up here around the bottom of our sink and all I did was tighten up on this nut just a little bit and that took care of that. And then we uh, opened up the plunger and watched it as a whole bunch of water drained quickly and that took care of that. So we're good to go, friends. Okay, friends, hey, we are have completed this project now. And as you can see, we have some nice cold water, some nice hot water coming out and everything's draining out perfectly. The kids will be happy, 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 happy indeed that the sink it works in the bathroom again. Friends, I want to thank you for watching the video today. Don't forget to subscribe and like our video and share our video and, and come back and see us again for some more how-to videos. Have a great day. God bless, and we will see you next time. Take care.